that would, it was a story that would be told to a young boy or girl that would ask the question, what do I do when I'm lost in the forest? Well, but this is an equally true question for a middle manager in an organization, in a large organization, or for a street kid in Philadelphia. What do I do when I'm lost in the city? What do I do when I'm lost in the organization? Here's the answer that the, the elder gives. You can feel from this how precise the teaching is. So the elder says, stand still. The trees ahead and bushes beside you are not lost. Wherever you are is called here, and you must treat it as a powerful stranger, must ask permission to know it and be known. Listen, the forest breathes. It whispers, I have made this place around you. If you leave it, you may come back again, saying, here. No two trees are the same to raven. No two branches are the same to wren. If what a tree or a branch does is lost on you, then you are surely lost. Stand still. The forest knows where you are. The forest knows where you are. Stand still. The forest knows where you are. You must let it find you. There are three things in this poem, you see, that are absolutely clear. First of all, the elder says, you cannot sleepwalk your way into your destiny. You must wake up and pay attention. Stand still. The trees ahead and bushes beside you are not lost. You must pay attention. That means paying attention to the shadow sides, shadows of your existence too. You must pay attention to everything you've given away in order to make yourself safe. All the games you play in order to remain safe and untouched. As well as your creative gifts too. Second stage is that uh, is that in this, in this teaching from the elders, this incredible feeling of silence, that unless you have this silence in your life and you feel the silence in the poem, where he says, if you leave it, you may come back again saying, here, no two trees are the same to raven, no two branches are the same to wren. If what a tree or a branch does is lost on you, then you are surely lost. You feel the silence there? Mm. You're almost under that cedar canopy there. And I think uh, what the elder is saying there is that uh, if you pay real attention, unless you have silence, uh, an ability for silence in your body to do that, then you will get too frightened because all the voices inside you will drown out any real change. Mm -hmm. They'll, you have a hundred reasons not to do, to make any real change, you see. And you've got all the voices and all the reasons not to do it. And so the ability profound, for profound silence is being called on here. And then that attention can, can, can flower into something else. Because you really don't know what your grief is. You really don't know what's underneath that grief until you fall into it. Mm -hmm. The poem seems to yes. be attempting to awaken a, a kind of intuitive sense. That's right. And then this amazing last line. The forest knows where you are. You must let it find you.